So we're here in South Oxfordshire on a fairly light land site. So what diseases are we seeing at the moment here, Jonathan? Mainly septoria, a lot of septoria. Um, more than we often see at this site, actually. This yeah. can be a bit uh, quiet for septoria some of these seven seasons, but I think we're seeing more here and more generally across the country uh, as we've gone round. Um, yeah, septoria is up on leaf five and the more susceptible varieties, like this elation we've got here. On the more resistant varieties, there's perhaps less dis differences between varieties at this site, but the revelation, I think it's more on leaf six than leaf five. Um, and yeah, that, that may help us to uh, buy us a bit of time in terms of treatment timings as well as product choice. So looking at this crop in South Oxfordshire, it's nearly at the T1 stage. What uh, disease levels are you seeing, Fiona? So at this site, um, disease levels, it's not the highest we've seen over the, the other sites we've looked at, but they're probably slightly higher than normal for this site. Uh, and given certainly at the weaker varieties at this site and the fact that at slightly higher levels than normal, more of a case for the STHI. So what are the implications for T2? Well, I think the fact that Septoria has been there every site, we're very dependent now on the weather between now and that uh, flag leaf emerging. The STHI inclusion at that timing really now is a given um, and the, the pressure will depend on the weather. So balanced use of the STHI with, with an ASOL for equal efficacy from both partners and then the inclusion of the multi-site to protect those two vulnerable actives is going to be important.